Today we're talking fairway shots. Okay, so we've got the fairway woods out. Most golfers use a fairway wood for a second shot to try and approach a green to get it either on the green or very, very close to it. However, it does come with its real high risks. Okay, it's so easy to hit the ground before the ball. And I think the most popular one, popular, probably not the right word, the most common one is to top the ball. Now, today's video is all about how to stop that. Okay, so one common fault is the idea of a hybrid. Golfers will look at this club and very much associate it to your driver. So, I see the big common fault of the ball position being too far forward. We still want to kind of approach this like it's a combination of the driver and the iron. We're not trying to hit up on the ball. The ball isn't teed up, so we technically we can't really hit up on the ball unless we take a lot of ground beforehand. We don't want to hit down on the ball so much because it does create a lot of spin. You know, the ball will kind of pop up into the air or it's going to be very, very difficult to control the trajectory and the spin rates in regards to left or right. So we want to try and get it somewhere in between. So strike is key. Ball position on this is going to be very, very important, as is your kind of understanding of weight distribution and even spine angle as you're trying to hit the shot. Okay, so like I said, one of the common shots here is ball position goes too far forward like you were trying to hit a driver and as you come in to hit the ball low point would generally be back towards the middle because the spine angle is leading away from the target therefore as we come into the ball we do that we top it i've got a lot of weight now onto this right toe so there's a lot of weight into my back foot i've hit the top of the ball into the ground and it's trundled up there around about 50 yards or so so we've gone from using a club that could really get us close to the green to now just having probably another 150, 200 yards into the green for the third shot. It's a wasted shot instantly. One of the key things here is making sure that we get strike. I don't mind seeing golfers miss target directionally as long as we're obviously not missing it by too much, but as long as we're up there in for your distance. I don't mind seeing a golfer hit it into a greenside bunker 20 yards left of the green or the flag because it's a 20-yard it's a 20, 20 bunker shot, 10-yard bunker shot. But when your next shot after this is going to be 150 yards, we've lost the shot instantly. We've, we've taken the bogey out of the equation and we've brought in the double bogey. What I want to see with ball position here is set your feet close together, right next to each other, take a, a step with the left foot and a slightly bigger step with the right foot. So what you'll see now is middle of my stance is going to be where my club head is now driver position is going to be in front of the ball where the club head is now this is going to be right in the middle so we're going to get a combination of kind of we're still going to be hitting down on the ball but we're not hitting down anywhere near as much as we would do with a seven iron but we're not hitting up like we would do with a driver so from this position now i've got ball position just forward of center just back of the driver position one of the key things as well with the with the rotation of this club and the sorry the swing of this club is making sure we do get body rotation we don't want to see this any sort of sliding towards the right hand side of, with the hips is going to encourage the body weight to get stuck here if the body weight gets stuck here then we're in the same sort of situation way too much on the back foot club wants to land early we either hit the ground or we hit the top of the ball the idea from this ball position now is we're going to get very close to how we would hit an iron we want the spine angle to be relatively kind of neutral kind of straight not tilted back and we want the sternum to be kind of much more over the ball hands coming more in front of the ball as well so now i want to try and approach it like an iron but my ball position is going to allow me to not hit down too much okay so the routine i would go with feet right next to each other small step across with the right foot slightly bigger with the sorry left foot slightly bigger with the right foot ball position is now just forward of center going to make sure I rotate into my backswing and I'm going to still use the drive forward into my downswing. Okay, so clubbing behind the ball, feet next to each other, small step with the right left foot, bigger step with the right foot. We're going to be still trying to hit down into the back of the ball from that ball position. So it's not going to be too steep because it's not too central and it's not going to be too shallow because it's not too far forward. Oh, that is good. Got my little natural draw into it, just tight to the right side of the green, drawing back. Pretty good. Okay, the strike was good though. Whether I missed that 
in the right green side bunker or the left green side bunker or hit the green or I leave it maybe just short because of the distance, it's a good shot, it's a good strike. It's a really powerful feeling off the club face. So easy though to kind of fall back into the, into the wrong positions here. We've got to make sure we're getting the ball position into a place where we can, we can strike the ball. We've also got to make sure we're not swaying off the ball. We're going to make sure that low, that right hip, kind of the, or the back hip, if you're left-handed, right hip there, kind of rotates. And then on the way down, we can compress the ball. We're not trying to lean back like we would do with the driver. We're kind of approaching this a little bit more like an iron, keeping the spine angle straight, getting the hips to rotate, and getting the hands to hit down on the ball. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Lots more to come from the golf course here at Jamira Golf Estates. Please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Uh, follow me on my social media platforms. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and we've got Twitter as well. Don't know why I was saying we, it's just me. For now, see you soon.